Hey there everybody, Brian here with another episode of Adventures with Brian and Family. It's warm out and as you can see behind me, I'm towing my little pop-up trailer and I'm going camping. I'm going to Turkey Point, but before I go I had to stop in a Walmart and I need new batteries for my remote that controls the uh, roof of my trailer, the up and down part. So let's go do that now. Got my remote back together, good as new. Let's go camping. Hey guys, uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the drive out to Turkey Point. It's about a 45 minute drive, but it's 10 o'clock right now and I need my Timmy's. Alright, we made it. Time to get registered. So the sewer dumping station is down this road here to the right. But when you come into the park, there's a water fill-up station right here. Uh, it only has one blue tap, which is for drinking water. And if you see a pole like this, that's red, that's for your sewer only. Uh, one of the improvements I made was down here in the fridge. You see that toggle switch? That toggle switch controls the uh, water pump. And when I when I travel, I always go with a empty holding tank, um, and the hot water tank is empty as well. So with the hot water tank, there used to be a plastic plug in here, and I've added a spigot, and it's open now. We're gonna close that. Um, actually, no, hang on a second. We're going to leave it open for a second because I want to flush out the holding tank. Uh, the toggle switch that you saw, um, so what that does is uh, turns on the pump and it fills up the holding tank, the hot water holding tank, because when I travel, I travel as light as I possibly can. This trailer is a, just about 3,000 pounds. So I want to try to keep it light. I don't have a fancy filter for this water, so not that I drink it anyways. Okay, so I'm going to reach in here and turn on that toggle switch I showed you. And that turns on the pump and it will fill up my hot water tank as well. But right now I'm just flushing it out so it's leaking out. It's my first time using the trailer this year. And normally I have my son helping me, but I'm here by myself right now. So I hope this works. Okay, so water's going in the hot water tank now. What I do is I open this relief valve and just relieve the air out of it. And now we wait. It's got about a 60 gallon um, fresh water tank and the hot water tank is another five gallons.
got some really good water pressure here. Watch it drip out here. That's when I know it, the holding tank is full. So I noticed when I was filling up my holding tank, I noticed the floors are all kind of wet. That's not a good sign. And I still have water dripping out right here. Now I did winterize my trailer. I sure hope I didn't blow a pipe, but I'll know more once I get it set up. One of the other improvements I made was a 100 watt solar panel that I had to bolt to the bike carrier had to sacrifice one of the bike carriers to make it work. But right now we're gonna plug in this wire into here. We're gonna run it along the roof all the way to the front where the battery is. All right, so we got it plugged into the battery. There's the charge controller. And looks like it's producing power. Okay, you guys are gonna see it here first. I have to get the awning out, and I'm here by myself. I normally get my son to help me. I've never taken the awning out by myself, so hopefully I don't screw this up. Unzip it.
Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So as you can see, the floor is kind of wet. I'm hoping it was just a tap that was left on and not a burst hose. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. That's why we have so much water on the floor. Uh, great, now I gotta clean that up. Just a little wet. Okay, I got the water dried out and the mess cleaned up inside. Oops. Looks a lot cleaner in here now. Still gotta make my bed. I don't understand, in 13 years I've owned this trailer, I've never had that problem. other improvements I got this is a thousand watt power inverter that I inherited from my dad let me just put that on top of here take this cover off let me plug that in and we plug our trailer into the inverter Good to go. Okay, the next thing we got to do, we got to hammer some stakes into the uh, poles here. And it's actually just to prevent uh, wind from blowing underneath the awning and basically tearing this thing right off.
I do have one other strap that I'm going to wrap around the top. Uh, I don't know what these things are called. I call them a hurricane strap. We are expecting rain Saturday night and quite a lot of it actually. So I'm going to put this on right now. I brought my own firewood in. This stuff's a little bit more money, but I know it's dry and it will light. Campfire wood. 50-50 chance it's wet and it may not light. But hey, we'll just keep that between us. Okay, I've pretty much got my campsite set up the way I like. I'll show you around my hammock. That's where I do my dishes. I have to get water still. I, I am expecting my family uh, to show up tomorrow night. I'm gonna go pick them up, but tonight it's just me. Okay, so this is Thursday, May 18th, two days before the long weekend. And the park is pretty much deserted. But in the next couple of days, I can guarantee you this place will be packed. All right, my campsite is just down the road right here. This is a really nice park. I've been to this park many a times before. There's a playground over there for the kids. And a short walking distance to the bathroom and showers. Let's take a look at the showers. Yeah, it's not too bad, pretty clean. Mind you, this bathroom is quite old, but it still works. I prefer the handicap stall because their shower stalls are much bigger. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a mushroom. I'll give you some idea on how old this place is. Those are the two showers there. It's not bad, pretty clean, just old. More firewood for tonight. This is my kid's old bed. You're not supposed to bring outside firewood into the park, it's against the rules. So remember what we talked about earlier. Let's keep it between us. All right guys, have you ever seen this? This is the pull start fire starter. Um, I've used these things in the past, and they work quite well. They come in a pack of three, you can buy them at Canadian Tire. So basically you loop your log around this green string, and you pull hard on the red string if you want to start your fire. And I'm going to get this set up and I'll show you tonight what it looks like. Okay, we got our campfire made, and I got my red string right here. Tonight, when you want to start the fire, Pull this red string, instant fire. Okay guys, so my holding tank, let's say it's empty. I know it's full, but I don't know how other uh, pop-up trailer users do this, but you wanna get water from your jug into your holding tank. Canadian Tire sells one of these uh, self-priming pumps. All you gotta do is stick it in the wall. At least that's how I do it. I don't know how anybody else does it.
All right, guys. I'm getting ready to make dinner. This is my Kuhlman oven. I haven't used this for quite a while. Tonight we're having chicken wraps. Turn this on. All right, we'll let that heat up. Just gotta get it up to about 400 so we can cook our chicken. Yep, we're good. All right, the oven's at 400. They say you're supposed to uh, cook these at 400 for half an hour, but you gotta watch it because these things don't automatically shut off. So you gotta keep an eye on the temperature all the time. These things are very hard to control, very hard to maintain 400 degrees. I'm constantly adjusting the temperature. So in my previous video, I was attempting to make a coffee, but I forgot my cream. So Terry, if you're watching this, I got my cream this time. And I got my coffee pour over brewer.
Okay, I promised you guys a campfire. I'm gonna start this thing up. Remember guys, don't bring outside wood. It's against the rules. So don't do what Brian does. Oops. Pull the red string. Hopefully it's not a dud. There's smoke, there's fire. Okay, looks like that was a dud. Okay, let's try this again. I got a backup plan. Flamethrower always works. I got my bed made up. I'm really tired. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. That was a really cold sleep last night. I was under three comforters and I was just warm enough. Uh, it only got down to plus 10 I think last night I'm gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna go for a walk all right I'm gonna go for a walk now I'm not gonna bore you guys with the entire walk because that's just 
way too long of a video but maybe what I'll do is I'll do some highlights and I'll put it on YouTube Down in the valley, that's actually Turkey Point Village. And in the background there, that's Lake Erie. Guys, I hope you like this video. Leave me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I got my family coming down later on tonight. We're going out for dinner and we're going to enjoy the rest of our weekend. Um, I'll put a link in the description on some of the products I use. I don't get paid by YouTube or any of the products that I use. Uh, I'll even show you the link for the camera thing that I use. And I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and I'm getting rid of my trailer. I got something better coming.